Hey guys, Steve Walbach, and I am one of God's children. One of God's children is a YouTube channel, uh, which is a religious YouTube channel, where I tell Bible stories to children. And sometimes I tell Bible stories to adults. Yeah, those big kids. And even bigger sometimes. But that's what I do. I'm God, he is everybody's father, and he loves each one of us. This is going to be a little short, and this is just to introduce you that God cares about you. God loves you, and God wants to see you succeed. He wants you to be happy. Sometimes in your life, you come across some pitfalls. Sometimes you have some obstacles in your way. You can't blame those on God, because God gives us one thing that's very, very important, and that is free will. Free will is, he doesn't want people to be like a robot, and he doesn't force us to love him. But you know, he loved us first. Before, when we, before we were even born, we were inside our, our, our parents, right? We were in the womb. And he knew how many hairs on the head we were going to have. And he knew some of you guys, when you got out in your 20s and 30s, you were going to lose some of that hair too. But that's okay. He still loves you. And you should love yourself as well. But God is here for all of us. God has laid out a plan. God sent his own son to save us from our sins because he knows we can't do it on our own. And anybody that believes that we can, you're very sadly mistaken. You can't do it. You know, we, we have what we call the, the devil. We have the, the other side. You have the light, which is with God. And then we have the darkness which is uh, the absence of God. For those that don't want to believe there's a devil, and he's not the devil that has, you know, the, the horns and the pitchfork and so forth, uh, but the, the devil very much is not somebody you want to pal around with. He's not somebody you want to get to know. God, on the other hand, that's the guy, because God, well, both of them promise us eternity. You know, I just happen to think this right now. I've never looked at this like this. Who knows what eternity is? This is both for children and adults. Eternity is on and on and on, right? Is it like this long or is it like this long? No, it's like, it's so long you can't measure it. That's eternity. And you know that darkness provides eternity to us and the light, God, provides eternity to us. Which eternity do you want? I want eternity where it's going to be peaceful and loving and where I get to see my relatives <coughs> excuse me, and I, I get to be with God. I get to, to see Jesus and I, I, it's the best way to explain and what we're talking about is heaven. For those of you that haven't quite caught up yet, we're talking about going to heaven. Uh, now heaven can be described in many different ways and has a different uh, meaning to different people. But this, the easiest thing is, heaven is going to be the greatest thing that you want where you'll be with, with the Lord. That, that's heaven. And it's forever. How long is forever? We, we just talked about that, right? It's a long time. Or you can choose the other side, which is also forever, but the side that's not going to be so nice. It's, it's not going to be uh, very pleasant, I can assure you. Well, I went up there. And God has done so much for us to enable us to get there. We're, we, you know, it's almost like you can't fail. You really got to go out of your way to, to miss this opportunity. And you really do. Because God, he saw that when he first gave the laws, that we, we're not going to be able to follow these things. You know, from time to time, we're going to make mistakes along the way. And that's no good, right, boys and girls? Uh, you know, we're going to be mean to our friends. We're going to maybe lie. We're going to say things about them. That's called bear false witness. Um, you know, stealing, of course, is not good. All these types of things. And there's like stealing a little thing and then stealing a car. Well, I don't think you boys and girls are stealing cars. But, you know, if you go into a store and like they have candy that's on display and you take one and eat it, that's stealing. I mean, now that's, that's a small thing. It, but still, the concept of stealing, it's being sold and you took it without paying for it. The point I'm making is that every day we commit sin. 
Either we have bad thoughts of someone, we get in an argument with someone, we call someone names, or even worse. But God has a way where we can redeem ourselves. Now, redeem is a big word. What does that mean? That means that we can be forgiven, that we can erase it, we can make it go away. And that is through Jesus Christ, His Son. When He sent Jesus to earth and He was born as a baby at Christmas, and we're getting close to Christmas now, boys and girls, we're, we're going to have Christmas coming around. And that, that's, that's celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. God sent Him to earth to teach us, to show us how to live our lives. And Jesus did this, that. He was here for only a very short time. He started actually teaching at the age of 30, and he only talked to 33. But he was doing different things as a young boy. He used to do, he would informally teach. He didn't have a group following him when he was just a young boy. But um, he did have a short life, but it was a very meaningful life. And it was a very powerful life. And it had left a mark on all of us. He has given us the ability to have eternal life, also known as salvation, because of the sacrifice he made. And that was at Easter. See, you thought Easter was where the Easter Bunny comes. You guys are missing out on so much. If you don't have any religion going on, there's so much more to these holidays than what you would think. Um, Easter is where he actually gave up his life. But we'll talk about that when we're, we're getting closer to Easter. I, I wanted to just emphasize to you guys right now is you have a choice. You always have choices. Don't kid yourself. There, you can choose the right road or you can choose the wrong road. It's up to you. And, and once you make those choices, you have to pay for those choices, right? But see, God says, I can make those choices go away. If you come to me and honestly, truly repent, now there's another word. What do you use these words for, Steve? Repent is to ask for forgiveness. And sincerely, to really mean it, that I'm really, really sorry, God. I shouldn't have done this. Just before I did it, I knew something was telling me it was wrong, but I just felt like I wanted to do it anyway. And of course, I did it. Well, that was wrong to do. But if you go to God and ask Him for forgiveness, He will forgive you. That will go on forever. There are, are people out there, uh, I, I have seen and I, I've interacted with folks uh, being involved with a couple of churches. You know, sometimes we, we've done some pretty bad things to others, but sometimes we do some really bad things to ourselves. And, and that could be maybe taking drugs or maybe alcohol, you know, drinking too much. And, and carrying on and getting in trouble and uh, you know if you take a lot of drugs uh, they, they call that you can be a drug addict and then the drugs rule your body they, they rule your mind they rule your life and that's no good and I've, I've spoken to people before and I invite them come why don't you come to church Sunday uh, Sunday and a lot of times I, I get a response like um, I am uh, you know I I'm, I'm trying to fight drugs and I'm, I'm, I'm using drugs. I, I can't go to church. God doesn't want me there. He doesn't love me. Boys and girls, that couldn't be further from the truth. God very much loves you no matter what you're doing. And, and there's, there's so much hope for you for the fact that you're recognizing that you've got a, a habit that it's hard to, you can't kick it yourself. And that's why you go to a program and they help you. You know, sometimes boys and girls, your parents are doing things that maybe they shouldn't. And it doesn't make them a bad parent. No, please don't misunderstand me. They are not a bad parent and they love you very much. But what's happened is so, somewhere along the way, they made a, a poor choice. They made a bad choice and that drew them that way. And now they're kind of stuck. They don't know how to get out. They still love you. You still should love them. You, you should respect them. But they need help. And it's help that you can't give them. You know, this is something that you know adults have to help other adults. And sometimes the, one way of getting help is just coming to the Lord. 
and praying and asking God, help me, Lord, help me to fight this habit. Help me to stop doing these things. This is so hard. I, I, I want to stop. I know it's not good for me, but I, I, I can't. It, it just keeps drawing me back. Sometimes we have to make some real changes in our life. And maybe if we hang around with certain people, we shouldn't hang around with them anymore because they keep doing the drugs. And if we're trying to stop doing drugs and these people are here constantly doing them, you know, that's, that's going to be very, very hard for us to stop. But boys and girls, what I, I, I want, all this is coming back to, even though you're doing bad things, God still loves you so very much. And he wants you to come to him and pray to him and ask him for help. God is, God is, he has the ability where he can listen to you and 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 you, even Eddie the Eagle, he can listen to everybody at the same time and he hears us and he can help us and that's important all we have to do is take the first step and pray pray to him and sometimes praying is like this or like this but sometimes praying is riding your bike and just talking to God and you don't have to move your lips you can just be thinking it but you could actually move your lips as well God doesn't care how you come to him. Doesn't care if you have on a nice suit or if you have jeans on or if you're in bare feet. He doesn't care. All God cares about is that you come to him and ask for help and he's there for you. God, if we could have a picture of God, one of the pictures that would represent him is he's like this. He always has his hand out reaching to us. What do we have to do, boys and girls? right we just have to reach back and God will, will embrace our hand and he will help us God's there for us he's never going to forsake us it, it says that in his word the Bible is his word I don't know if you've ever looked at the Bible there's a children's Bible that has lots of pictures I like that when I was growing up I wasn't big on reading but the Bible tells us so much information and it, it breaks it down for children versus adults. Adults can hear things more on an adult level where children sometimes need it told at the child's level. And that's fine because that's where we are at that time, right? So boys and girls, just remember, God is here for us. God loves you very much. And all he wants is for you to, to love him back. Follow his teaching. Well, what does he teach? Well, you'll have to find that out. But I can tell you, it's real simple. Just be a nice person. You know, Jesus left us two commandments. One was to, to love the Lord our God and, and not worship anyone else and to love thy neighbor as thyself. If you love your neighbor, which is that person who lives next to you or that person that's across the world, neighbors are not just in a neighborhood. Sometimes we got caught up on that where we think that neighborhood neighbor oh that's that they have to be on my street no they don't your neighbor is anybody else on this earth we need to treat our neighbors the way we want to be treated and you know how we want to be treated with respect kindness decency um, niceness all those types of things and that's how we should treat others the same way guys I'm going to stop right here but I hope that you've heard something that might be both the little ones and the big ones. Uh, God is here for all of us. He's, he's father to everybody from the little ones all the way up to how old you are. It doesn't matter. The person that's 134, I don't think anyone's 134, but you know, whatever you may be, he's your father too. And he loves you very much and he's there for you. Let's, let's try to bring God into our lives every single day. Just say a little prayer in the morning. God, please be with me. Help me today as I face different challenges. I love you and I thank you. Amen. That's it. That wasn't much of a prayer, was it? Have yourselves a beautiful day. God loves you and so do I. God bless you.